My name is Lava Star, and I'm the owner of the Royal Cafe, 611th Street, Columbus, Georgia. And I've been there since 1963. I raised my children, they were small when I came down, went down there. I raised my grandchildren. Now I'm on my great grandchildren. And I'm still working at 85 years old, helping my daughter out. And I retired about eight years ago. But my two daughters wanted to keep the cafe. So I went back to work and and, and Sarah left and had to go to California to see about the twins. And, th and that made me have to go back down there regular with Carol. I have a lot of customers, thank God for them. All types of people come in and they said they enjoy the food and they will be back. And I try to serve home all fresh food as I can. And uh, it's home cooked. And vegetables, meats, and desserts of different kinds. When I was 12 years old, I had a, a, a dream to, I wanted to have a business. And I always wanted a brick home. The Lord fixed it so that I, I got just what I wanted. Uh, I, had, I have the business and I have the brick home and I'm enjoying that at 85 years old. My name is Trakeisha Alexander. Everyone calls me Keisha. I have been living in Columbus, Georgia all of my life, 39 years old. I was first introduced to the Royal Cafe in 1996 when I met one of my best friends in this world still very close. I met her, we both started a new job together and we became quick friends because the first day on the job together when we made lunch plans, she said, let's go to my family's restaurant, the Royal Cafe. I said, okay, let's, let's, let's go there. And the first meal we had there was, um, I do remember the meat was um, pork chops, fried pork chops. Um, I had candy yams that day, I believe, and macaroni and cheese. And I can't remember what other vegetable we had. But being in Columbus all of my life, it was very new. It was a new experience for me because I had never been there, surprisingly enough. And I was just shocked at the fact that no one had ever introduced me to this place because the food was so good. So, you know... As we worked together every day, we'd go for lunch at the Royal, and I would try a new dish, a new meal. And over the few the years that we went there, even today, I would say my favorite meal is the ribs and rice. That is my absolute favorite. Um, I can't think of anything there that I don't like. I like um, vegetables. I like the fact that the vegetables there are fresh. Um, Fried cornbread is the best. If you're from the South, you know all about that. It is absolutely the best. And another wonderful thing about the restaurant is you're always going to be full. You get a choice of three sides, a meat, a dessert. The banana pudding is awesome. Um, first time I had a real cafe, probably about the age of six or seven. Um, my grandparents had got some food. You know, being a typical kid, I was like, let me, let me get some. And normally my grandma, she make all the soul food, so she ain't, she really picky. She ain't care to eat soul food from other, like other places. But when I had it, it busts. Like, I ain't even flexing. Like, you could tell, like, whoever could have put, like, her heart and soul into it. Then the first time I had it by myself, probably had to be 11th grade. Big sis brought me a plate. It's fried chicken, collard greens, candy yam, macaroni and cheese. And that jump was heaven. <laughs> then we went on a road trip. Pork chops, cabbage, cornbread, had some banana pudding on the side with sweet tea. And like, thing about Royal Cafe, compared to all other like sofa restaurants around here, is like, it's really family. And that's what you tell us, family oriented. Everybody know everybody. Everybody love everybody. It ain't like no competition. Everybody knows the same come and go. Treat everybody with respect. You gonna get your customers coming back. 
And Grandma Star been doing it for years. Like, she got to respect the lawyers, judges, cops, deputy sheriffs, marshals, you name it. Everybody know Grandma Star is. Even like when people come in, they be like, well, if you gotta advise somebody, where you get some soul food from? First guess, or a cafe. I mean, Columbus got other places, but it ain't the same down home feeling that you're gonna get like everywhere else. Like, you go in there, it's cafeteria style, it's cafeteria plate, but they gonna load your plate up. You ain't gotta worry in the prices. You ain't gonna meet, like, them prices not gonna be matched anywhere else. With a drink, ain't no tax. Come on now, you gotta think. In today's world, everybody gonna make a dollar. But the grandma star, she wants you to come back for life. She don't want you to think you just, she getting your money, that's it. She gonna bring your name, your face, and she gonna see you and she gonna be like, what up, baby? The Royal Cafe, um, mama bought that cafe from um, a friend. And it was originally uh, a small place that sold hot dogs and hamburgers and um, alcohol. And mama grew the business. Uh, and she's had to, since she grew the business, she's had to expand the business for twice now, for about uh, two times, and to the size that it is today. I can remember uh, the cafe, it was just uh, almost like a, <laughs> one room, the kitchen and the dining area, all one thing, and it's like a long, this long, not very long bar where everybody would sit there, and at, I think it had about three tables. Uh, in there and it was just really small compared to where it is today I mean she has done she has done amazing with uh, her know-how especially a person that has not gone to college to for business or even finish high school she has done great uh, the Lord has really blessed her so I remember the days and the bathroom was on that you had to go to the bathroom on the outside of the building it was a uh, it was a bathroom, but you had to leave out of the out of the room out of the uh, cafe and go outside and then into another room for the bathroom. So it was difficult, but you know she's made it to where it is today, um, and and that's another reason why my sister and I wanted to keep it going for the legacy of, of, of mom because she um, she built it to where it is. So um, we. Were, be forever grateful for that. Um, it's hard work. wasn't easy. It was hard work, and believe me, she made us work. Uh, there's sometimes that she would, um, you know, we would have to be late at school. She would always make sure that we got home uh, or got to the cafe. Uh, she couldn't leave, but she would always make sure there was someone that was reliable to pick us up. Uh, she did a lot on her own as a single parent. Um, and a, and a woman of color, especially in the South in the 60s and coming on. She she has definitely paid her dues, more than paid her dues. So um, we, and that's another reason why we wanted to keep it going for, for that reason and for the legacy. And um, we pray that there's someone coming up, because I'm getting old too, that's <laughs> going to take feel her shoes. Hello, my name is Jake Porter. And I've been coming to the Royal Cafe since 1963. Now that's a long time. And I have to tell you, the food just keeps getting better and better. One thing I'd like to mention is the, the catfish they have. Of course, I've eaten mine. I can't show it to you now. But it's, it's like perfectly cooked. Uh, and the bread on there is, I don't know what they do, but it's so crunchy and great to it. It's just unbelievable. And the macaroni and cheese uh, is to die for. And one of my favorite is the, uh, the banana pudding. Ooh, I love the banana pudding. Blue the backers are, are, are nice. The liver, the, uh, the ribs and rice. Uh, it's just, I can go on and on and on. The fried chicken, ooh, I can't forget the fried chicken. And you just, it, everything just unbelievable. And if you get a chance to come to Columbus, Georgia, you look up the Royal Cafe, and they will really hook you up. I mean, food to die for, brothers and sisters. Trust me, over and out. Food for the body is not enough. There must be food for the soul. Make sure when you're in Columbus, Georgia, to stop by the Royal Cafe. 
611th Street between the hours of 11 a.m. and 3.30 p.m.